So on today's video, um, we had a dude on eBay try to scam us out of a brand new set of uh, LS H-beam connecting rods. Stay tuned, we're gonna get into it. All right, so I had, uh, we sell, we have a, a eBay store and used to sell a pretty good bit on eBay, but we don't, we don't sell a whole lot on eBay anymore. Now that the website's up and going. But we had uh, a set of Molnar Power Adder H-Beam uh, LS connecting rods on, on our eBay store. So a guy from New York, <clears throat> he buys the, the rods and I don't know, I mean, we never get any, you know, any kind of return or any issues with that kind of stuff. It's just, it just doesn't happen. But this guy messaged me, and it's like a month later. You know, it's, it's been a while. And this guy messages me and says that one of the rods is way heavier than the rest of the rods. Or one rod is really light. I don't remember which way he said it. So <clears throat> I told him, I said, uh, you know, I mean, I've just, and, and, and the amount that it was wrong was excessive there was no possible way that that what he was saying was true so i told him i said send me send me some pictures of what you're talking about so he sends me some pictures of the rods uh, multiple pictures with rods on the scale but he was really far away from the scale like you could see the number but it was so far away you couldn't really see the rod. And he had the rods in the bags, you know, so they come sealed in a in a clear bag. And he had the rods put in the bags. And and I'm I mean it just the whole thing seemed a little fishy to me, right? It just didn't it just didn't feel right. Um so I told him, I said, look, I said, you send the rods back to me. And I'm going to inspect them and weigh them. And I said, if there's any kind of issue with uh, weight matching, I said, we will give you another set of rods, no problem. So that went on a little while. I didn't hear anything back. Well, like another month or month and a half later, uh, the rods show up. And he messaged me and was like, hey, I, I sent them rods back, you know, uh, when can I get my money back? And the rods like just had come in. So I hadn't even looked at them. So we, we cracked the box open and, and I'm going to spin you around here and I'm going to show you what, what, what we got back. So, so this guy, I mean, here's the box. And the box is the box we sent him. But the rods in the box are not the bo are not what we sent. So here is what has happened, and, and and a little bit of this I'm just gonna assume. So this rod is a standard weight rod. This rod is the heavier power adder rod for boosted engines. So let me let me turn the scale on here. All right, so this rod, 598 and some change. The power adder rod, 644 and some change. So we talking, you know, you know, 45 grams difference. Well, if you look, these rods have been run. All of these rods, I mean, they, they nasty, some's rusty, uh, but they've all been run. I mean, they've got plenty of staining from the bearing. And so this guy, so what has happened is uh, there's like two rods in the eight that are standard rods, not the power adder. So what, what I think has happened is this guy has bought a motor because the motor was at the machine shop when he bought these rods. 
So he has bought a motor and then they got it tore down and realized that it didn't have a matching set of rods in it. Somebody bought, you know, they probably didn't know any different and they bought a standard rod because they didn't know the difference between a power adder and their standard rod. So they just bought two standard rods for this deal. And then, you know, here we are. And, and so this guy was a big enough crook that he thought that he was just going to send all this trash back. You know, they, they rusty down in the rod. I mean, he thought he was just going to send this back and I was just going to give him his money back. And, and, and I told him, I told, I tried to get him to call me, but he, he wouldn't call me. So I told him, I said, uh, I said, dude, you know, I said, these are, 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 these rods are used and they're not a match set. I said, they're rusty, you know, and, and, and I said, uh, you know, it was a good try, but you know, it, it ain't gonna work. And uh, he's like, oh man, that's, you know, that's exactly what you sent me. And, and you know, when, when obviously Molnar is not shipping used rods. I mean, they don't even have any used rods in their facility. And so the rods come in and we inspect them. Like we don't take them out of their bags, but we open the boxes we verify the count, you know, we look and make sure the rod in the box is the rod that we ordered, you know, uh, the way, and I even talked to Tom about this, the way their system works is they weigh, they've got a, uh, you know, some kind of computer system and they weigh all the rods and the, then they've got to be within a gram and it spits out a ticket that's on the end of the box and it gives away and all that jazz. And so Tom told me there's a default in the system. If a rod is more than a gram out, it won't even allow them to print a ticket. So because they group them in a set and then the, the system averages and then spits out a ticket with a weight on it. So he said, you know, it won't even, it won't even let them print a label for it if, if they're not within a gram. So, uh, so I made sure Tom was aware, Tom Molner was aware of the deal just in case this crook, you know, contacted them trying to get a free set of rods out of this deal. But, you know, there's, God, man, there's so many crooks out there that do shady crap like this. We actually had a guy, a, another eBay scam, a guy bought uh, some Holly fuel bowls and then uh, done a return and said the fuel bowls were bad or something. I don't, I don't remember what he said. And then so the way, you know, and eBay sucks, uh, just the way their return policy is, eBay freaking sucks. And that's one reason why we don't sell a lot on eBay no more because it's just so easy to get scammed. So this guy sends back the fuel bowls and he just sends back a used stripped out junk fuel bowl, uh, to, to, you know, and there's really no way, like there's nothing that I can do. I would have to get on the phone and it would be some you know, freaking call center in India that I can't understand what they're saying anyway and spend more time than a fuel bowl cost to argue with some Indian about what the problem is. And then the, the, the communication barrier is so big that they don't even understand, the, the, they don't even know anything about the parts anyway. And then they don't even understand what you're saying. Like they can't grasp that I'm trying to explain to them, they sent me back a used fuel bowl to strip out because I've been through it with them before. And it's just like, you know, you want to beat your head against the wall when you get done talking to them. So I don't, you know, I don't even go that route anymore because it's just absolutely useless. And, you know, why in the world eBay can't get some American tech support is just uh, beyond me. But but you know, I mean, and unfortunately, I don't care what it is. I mean, anything that you do now when you call, it's a freaking, you know, a Punjabi in India that just can't understand you and you can't understand them. And it's just insane. It's just absolutely insane. Um, 
but unfortunately that's the world we live in. But so to other shop owners that may be watching this kind of junk, you know, if you are selling online, you need to really make sure that you're documenting what's going on. Cause if this idiot had of done the return in the amount of time that eBay allows, he would have got by with a, with a free, you know, 700 and something dollar set of rods. <laughs> He'd have pulled it off because all he would have had to do was show pictures of, you know, d them not matching and eBay wouldn't have knew the difference, used new sideways. They wouldn't have had no idea. And they would, even if I had declined it, eBay guarantee you eBay would have, would have give him his money back. And then he'd have got a free set of rods and I'd have been screwed out of shipping plus a $700 set of rods. So just, just keep that in mind and, you know, we now, especially with the website, you know, we keep, um, we got shipping records. We make sure that we upload shipping uh, immediately and we got tracking numbers and we show showing that stuff, you know, we can see when it's delivered and all that. Cause we still, even with our website, we have people all the time, you know, oh, I didn't get my package. And we've had it on eBay too. Oh, I didn't get my package. And it shows it was delivered. And, and they'll try to say that it wasn't delivered and you know and, and of course you know there's issues with that too but when it leaves my facility whatever shipper we use i mean it's out of my hands there's there's nothing that i can do you know people oh well, you need to call you know because we use a lot especially with ebay we use a lot of usps and you know people are like you need to call us well man they're they not going i mean they don't care i mean you, you, usps just i mean well UPS sucks too, but USPS sucks the most. And uh, I mean, who you gonna call? I mean, they they not gonna tell you nothing on the phone. They ain't nothing that they gonna help you with. So, you know, you just kind of on your own till it shows up. But anyway, so but just like I say, this is this is the kind of crap that we have to deal with. And and you know, it don't happen every day, but man, it happens. And you know, you just. You just have to deal with it, take take the hits sometimes. But luckily on this deal, we were able to to not get screwed on it. And uh, I told I told old homeboy that he he was happy to ride down and pick up his uh, his junk used set of rods. But I ain't heard anything outside of him again. But anyway, I appreciate appreciate you watching. Uh, you know, like, share, subscribe. Check out the website. Hopefully, we'll have some more content here coming. Thank you so much. Have a great day.